On November 4, 2024, the People's Liberation Army Air Force PLAF, showcased its KJ-500 Airborne Early Warning and Control AWNC aircraft at the Zhuhai Air Show 2024. Developed by Shangxi Aircraft Corporation and based on the Y-9 airframe, the KJ-500 represents a significant advancement in China's AWNC capabilities. The KJ-500 measures 34 meters in length and has a wingspan of 38 meters, making it more compact than previous models like the KJ-2000. Its sophisticated radar system is capable of detecting a variety of targets, including low-radar cross-section aircraft such as the American F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II stealth fighters. The aircraft incorporates digital phased array radar technology that provides continuous 360-degree surveillance coverage. Powered by four WJB-6C turboprop engines equipped with six-blade composite propellers, the KJ-500 generates 3,800 kilowatts, allowing for a maximum cruising speed of 550 kilometers per hour. With a range of 5,700 kilometers and an endurance of up to 12 hours, the KJ-500 extends the operational reach of China's air defense network. Its radar system can track between 60 to 100 targets within a 470-kilometer radius, offering enhanced capabilities for identifying stealth, high-speed, and maneuverable targets. The KJ-500 is equipped with a Tri-Array Active Electronically Scanned Array ASA radar, which operates with a fixed radome. This design allows for full coverage without the need for a rotating radar, a notable improvement over the KJ-200's balance beam array. These enhancements contribute to greater detection range and efficiency, while lighter materials and digital advancements have made the KJ-500 a modern replacement for older AWNC models, the production of which ceased in 2018. This new radar technology significantly improves target data update rates and resilience against electronic interference enabling the KJ-500 to function effectively in challenging operational environments. The evolution of China's AWNC program, starting from the KJ-1 in the 1960s and progressing through the KJ-2000 and KJ-200 models, has led to the KJ-500 filling specific operational gaps within China's aerial defense infrastructure. The KJ-500 operates in conjunction with advanced combat assets, including the Chengdu Jade 20 fighter jet, to enhance command and control during long-range air engagements. General Kenneth Willsback of the U.S. Pacific Air Forces has highlighted the KJ-500's critical role in supporting longer-range air-to-air missile operations, emphasizing its importance in the PLAF strategy for extended engagement distances. Moreover, the PLAF has introduced a naval variant, the KJ-500H, operated by the People's Liberation Army Naval Air Force, which focuses on surveillance and command over maritime areas. This adaptation illustrates China's modular approach to AWNC capabilities. Additionally, the KJ-500A, introduced in 2020, features an in-flight refueling probe, further extending its mission endurance. Internally, the KJ-500 is designed to reduce crew workload. Its cabin includes liquid crystal display screens and modular communication and data processing systems to create an efficient operational environment. The presence of rest areas supports crew performance during extended missions, while various antennas facilitate satellite communications, ensuring seamless integration with China's air defense network. The KJ-500's radar is particularly adept at detecting a wide array of targets, including those with low radar cross-sections. The ASA radar supports a high update rate, allowing for real-time tracking of stealth targets, as well as fast-moving and maneuverable aircraft. With a maximum detection range of 470 kilometers, the radar is engineered to counter threats from hypersonic and low-altitude cruise missiles, effectively processing large volumes of data without loss of signal. Recent advancements indicate that China is continually enhancing its radar capabilities to improve detection of U.S. stealth aircraft like the F-22 and F-35. Reports suggest that Chinese scientists have developed radar systems leveraging the Beidou satellite network which can switch to alternative networks such as GPS, Galileo, or GLONASS to counter jamming. Furthermore, ongoing studies are exploring the potential to utilize electromagnetic disturbances from drones and signals from satellite constellations like Starlink for stealth detection. These developments reflect a significant evolution in China's radar technology, which could substantially impact the operational landscape for stealth aircraft in contested regions. As the KJ-500 and its variants continue to advance, they play a crucial role in strengthening China's aerial surveillance and defense capabilities, enhancing the PLAF's strategic reach and effectiveness.